Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. I am still holding class in my bathroom. I know, it's gotta get better than this. Anyway, this lesson is specifically about NFPA hazard diamonds. NFPA, that just stands for National Fire Protection Agency Association. National Fire Protection Association. That was just a company that was brought about in the late 1800s that just wanted to make the environment the working environment for people safer so we could understand the hazards of different chemicals. Let's look at the basic layout. Okay, so here's the basic layout of a safety diamond. Always, 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 it'll be these colors in this order. The white will always be at the bottom, the blue will always be at the left, the red's at the top, and the yellow is over to the right. That is very standardized, it does not change. Okay, so let's talk about each of these colors and what they mean. Blue, that's for health hazard. This is gonna tell us what the health risks are. Now, a hazard diamond is gonna have numbers here, and those numbers can be anywhere between four and zero. Now, I'm not that concerned about you knowing exactly what four stands for, three, two, one, zero, but you do need to know four is the absolute worst thing that could happen. Zero, no hazard at all. Four, since we're talking about health, this is lethal. It will kill you. Four, very, very hazardous to your health. Threes are also pretty bad. Can cause serious or permanent injury. Permanent injury. Can cause temporary incapacitation or residual injury or can cause significant irritation. Irritation's not so bad. And then zero, no hazard at all. So if something has a health hazard of four, it can kill you if it has a health warning of zero, there's no hazard. And then three, two, one, you can see how that works. Okay, so let's move to the red. Red, flammable, that goes hand in hand. Oh, I just realized my little pointer is red. Flammability hazards. Four, the very most flammable something could be. Zero, will not burn. Now, did you realize that some chemicals, just when you open the container, they can instantaneously catch fire? That's a four will vaporize and readily burn at normal temperatures. That means we've not heated it up and it just ignites. Some chemicals are that flammable. That's a four. Three, can be ignited under almost all ambient temperatures. Still pretty serious. It can be ignited. That means it needs an ignition source, a spark or something. Oftentimes, a four doesn't even need a spark. That's the difference between a four and a three. Two, you've got to heat it up pretty hot before it'll burn. One, must be preheated before ignition can occur. Zero, will not burn. Four, the absolute worst. Zero, the absolute best. I don't know, not so harmful. Yellow, yellow is about its stability. I've also seen hazard diamond templates that call this reactivity. Stability means it's stable, not going to do a whole lot. We got that prefix, instability hazard. This is about how reactive something is. Four, the absolute worst, may explode at all, may explode at normal temperatures and pressure. That means we did nothing to this and it can just explode. The absolute worst thing that could happen. Number three, may explode at high temperatures or if we introduce electricity, like shock. So still pretty bad. Number two, violent chemical change at high temperatures or pressure. That means as long as we're not at high temperatures, not so violent. Number one, normal, stable, high temperatures make it unstable possible. And then zero is stable. Now this white area, this is for anything special. So for example, if it's an oxidizer, we'd put an OX here. Or if it's a simple asphyxiant, asphyxiant, that means it could cause you to, you know, it could clog your lungs and then you can't breathe and then you're, you're uh, suffocating. That's not good. Or does it react violently with water? A lot of chemicals do react violently with water and so you cannot mix it with water or you don't want to have water around. There are a few more special categories here, but these are the three most common. Let's look at example hazard diamonds because this doesn't have any numbers in it. Let's look at this one. What is the first thing that stands out to us? Well, I'm hoping you're saying that it is very, very flammable. Very flammable. We don't wanna have any open fires. We don't even wanna open this container. I wouldn't open this container. 
It only has a health two, a health rating of two. Not so bad. It's pretty stable because it has an instability rating of one, and it is an oxidizer. Let's look at another example. Okay, still very flammable. We got a three here. Oh my gosh, look at this four. That means it could kill us. Very lethal. It's a little bit unstable, but not so much. It's like normal stability. Or what was that too? It had to have high heats. Corrosive. Remember, that means it can eat into your skin. Most oftentimes, acids are corrosive. But other chemicals can be corrosive as well. Let's look at another one. Okay, very flammable. Pretty stable. Brand new sign. You've probably seen this somewhere, especially if you watch very many movies. This means radioactive. This chemical emits radioactive materials. We would have to be really careful of that. Let's look at another one. Okay, no special instructions. Very stable. Also very flammable. And moderate, you know, it's going to affect your health moderately. I've got one more to look at. Here's another one. We've got don't mix it with water because it will react very violently. It's not flammable. Health rating of three, that's pretty serious. It might not kill you, but it might. And then number two for yellow, that means it's pretty stable. If we heated this up to high heats, it would be, it would be unstable. Health hazard diamonds, not too bad, right? You've seen these around. So now hopefully when you get stuck behind a trucker and you see his hazard diamond for whatever he's carrying, you'll recognize what that means and what all those numbers mean. Okay, well, I hope that helps. Bye, y'all.